Hey, what's up guys? Color Truth here with some more Battlefield 3, and today I'm going to be talking about a couple of the more difficult premium assignments, at least the ones that I see to be difficult in my eyes, and giving you guys tips in terms of how is the best way to go about completing them. Primarily, this is going to be for the weapon camos, and I'm just going to be going over three of them here today. Now, if you're someone who has already completed these assignments or really don't care about them at all, you can click off this video. That'll uh, be fine with me. You don't have to waste any more of your time. But if you're someone who is looking to complete these assignments and you're struggling just a little bit, especially since Battlefield 3 is really getting on in its lifespan and there's not a whole lot left to do for some players, these assignments is oftentimes something that players can turn to in order to kind of give them an objective or a goal to reach. So in this video, I'm going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, explaining how or rather the best ways that I have found to unlock three of these camos. And these are ones that have handed out with premium quite some time back. And that is the LSAT camo, the MTAR camo, as well as the L96. So let's go ahead and get started here. And the first one I'm going to start begin with is the LSAT. In order to unlock the LSAT digital woodland camo, you must first complete the LSAT specialist assignment. This requires you to get 100 kills with the LSAT, 25 kills with the M224 mortar, and finally, 15 suppression ribbons. The first and third of these requirements are relatively simple and straightforward, and shouldn't take you that long to complete. The second one, however, is where most people struggle, and that is what defers them from even getting the chance to complete this assignment, and that is getting the 25 kills with the mortar. The mortar in Battlefield 3 is seen by many players as practically useless, very underpowered, and almost a degradation to their team if they are using it. It does have its uses, however, but it's very limited in what it can do. It can be very, very effective when used in the right situation at the right time. However, those opportunities oftentimes do not present themselves. So where is the best place to get these mortar kills? What would I recommend? Personally, I have found that Grand Bazaar Team Deathmatch is the best place to use the mortar in order to get the kills. You may have found another map, another game mode to work the best for you. That's fine. This is just what I have found to work the best for me. Reason being is that these spawns on Grand Bazaar and Team Deathmatch generally do not flip as often as they do other maps. If you don't rush into the enemy team's main area of spawn, you can oftentimes keep them there as you see from this gameplay, and you can kind of sit in one of the back corners of the map and literally just pelt them with mortars. That's what I've found to work the best for me. Give it a shot, see what, how well it works for you, and hopefully you'll be able to unlock this assignment in, after a couple of matches of Grand Bazaar Team Deathmatch. The second assignment I'm going to cover is for the MTAR-21 Woodland Oak Camo. In order to get this camo, you must complete the MTAR Specialist Assignment, which requires you to get 100 kills with the MTAR-21, 10 pieces of enemy equipment destroyed with the EOD bot, and finally, 15 anti-vehicular ribbons. The first and third of these, of these requirements, excuse me, much like the LSAT one, are very simple and straightforward and shouldn't take you that long to complete. The second one, though, is where many people do not even attempt to try to complete because it is relatively difficult just due to the fact of the EOD bot being almost more of a just straight-up gimmicky object here in Battlefield 3 as opposed to a useful piece of equipment. Now, some people would disagree with me about this, but personally, I found the EOD bot to be relatively difficult to control and therefore oftentimes limiting its usefulness. It can be used much like the mortar at the right place at the right time. However, those opportunities are generally not there. And when you use the AOD bot, oftentimes you are better off trying to complete whatever task you set out with with your little robot on foot as opposed to letting it do it for you. So what would I recommend in terms of these best map and or game mode to complete the second requirement of this assignment? Well, I don't really have one after many, many hours of trying to complete this assignment that is the best that I've found. I can give a few recommendations, but there is one main tip that I will say. Do not deploy your EOD bot in as soon as you spawn and then drive around and try to find equipment. Run around on foot, drive around in a jeep, a vehicle of some kind, and then find equipment and then destroy it. If you just spawn in, deploy your EOD, EOD bot, and then drive it around, you'll most likely get destroyed and then be very far away from any means of transportation and have to run quite a long ways. Now a few maps and game modes that I can recommend, especially for those of you that play on PC, is Operation Firestorm or Card Island Conquest. You'll find many snipers that like to camp up in the mountainous areas, getting around them by means of a jeep or if you wish to run that far. And once you get up there, deploy your EOD bot, destroy their MAVs, tugs, and or spawn beacons. That is one way I've found also, like you see in this gameplay, capture the flag, especially if you notice recons and other enemies parachuting in, there's got to be a spawn beacon around there. Try to find it, pull out your EOD bot, and destroy it then. That's, only that's the only tips I can really give you guys in terms of the best way to unlock this assignment. I just had to keep trying and trying and trying and trying. It will be difficult. Stick with it, and you'll eventually get it. 
The final assignment I'm going to cover today is for the L96 Digital Woodland Camo. In order to unlock this camo, you must first complete the L96 Specialist Assignment, which requires you to get 100 kills with the L96, 50 spot assist with the MAV, and 350 meter headshot with the L96. The first two requirements are relatively simple and straightforward, and it may take you a couple matches just to get those 50 spot assist as well as the 100 kills. But the last one, a 350 meter headshot, is where most players do struggle with this assignment. Now personally, I'd ha I had to have a little bit of help with this because I really suck at sniping, let alone just about everything else in this game. However, sniping, as I like to oftentimes say, is a comedy show. You will literally be rolling on the floor crying when you watch me snipe because I'm seriously that bad. So I had to have some help in order to complete this assignment, but tips I can give you guys is this. Huge open maps such as Gulf of Oman, Operation Firestorm, Karg Island, as well as a couple other maps like Caspian Border can prove to be good maps in order to complete this assignment on. Make sure you're playing Conquest, and probably I would have to say the best map for this is Gulf of Oman Conquest when you spawn from the aircraft carrier. Get yourself a 12 times ballistic scope, get a bipod out, and just sit on the carrier, lay prone, deploy your bipod, and try to snipe guys from really far ranges. That's what I found to be the best because, like I said, I really suck at sniping. Some of you all out there that may be really good can get 350 meter headshots like it's no problem and you do it every day. But for those of you that aren't quite as good, that's what I'd recommend is getting on the aircraft carrier on Gulf of Oman and just trying to pick guys off at long range. You can watch the bullet drop, judge how far I need to shoot it, and it will take you quite some time, but eventually you should be able to unlock this assignment. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and informative. If you did, consider rating it. I would appreciate it very much. And also, put your comments down below if you have any other tips or methods in order to unlock these assignments, in particular, the more difficult requirements. Like I always say in my videos, these are by no means the best tips and just the ones that are going to work all the time, 100% guaranteed. These are the ones that I have found to work the best for me. And if you have some or other maps, game modes that you have used that have worked really well in order to complete some of the more difficult requirements of each of these three assignments, then please, by all means, drop a comment down below. That way we can help everyone, everyone out, excuse me, and when it comes to completing these assignments. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care. See you all next time. Bye.